comes. Son, when I'm in to say I'm gonna put to this first penny son of cool. It's here when Z right here when they say BC one of Zanzi for sure. Most definitely, but fail to this is the freshest science and technology show on your screens right now. And then I'm here we're talking about something quite interesting. Now it's good to see you on a CZ cool Z wild. Just like me. But I mean if family I'm gonna bam now he actually took time to tame me. And tell you what, we've still got a long way to go. But on the real though, as a new law in the wild, Zazin Gelana foot is yad line. What I get now we have pets like a makati, is in jar that are fluffy and all cute and stuff. But again, okay, how do we actually domesticate in one? Well, here's the important question: Why do we keep them around? That's it. Need I say more? As one of the simpatilin. Now here's what's coming up on today's show of T O M Z. Now I'm with some insanely inspiring people who have made it their business to rescue animals in distress. And in Daba, I met a lion. It looks so haunting at night. Ooh, creepy. Now, do you know which animals were first to be domesticated? Well, Tolagabans. Now, for all the pet lovers and not so pet lovers, see how pets are actually getting a makeover by scientists. And check out some cool resources for careers or just general animal know how. And you've seen it and wished for it, but what if animals could actually talk? Well, some really care. I got my pictures in Jalutu Tele Lenin and Tanjis of Butamalanga. Now, Jag and Joyla on Facebook, Celeza and Muzuska, I say, What do you like about your pets? Open no Jabla no Atimina. I like my dog because it's always on the lookout for any danger that may come by. Mm, nice one. Now, Vanessa and I open no I like my fish because it's so cute. Mm, keep those comments coming on our Facebook and Twitter pages. On Facebook, we are simply facebook.com forward slash T O M Z. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore S A B C underscore one. For now, though, let's see what's going on. Why are you about team one? Pretty boy. Sure, sure. Oh, grand. Sure. Um, not. Monad. Fresh 100. 100%. Iman, what's up? Little. Little, what's up? What is a pet? A pet is something that stays with you, that, and you know, you treat it like a human and you stay with it inside your house. Uh, do you have a pet? What kind of pet would you like? A dog. Why a dog? I just have that love for dogs, you know. I don't know why. I just grew that love for dogs. Okay. I would like a cat. A cat? Why a cat? Because you know, Eshima Hotoga Hayala Pisa with. But let's see, what's domestication? Domestication. Yeah. Domestication, it might, it's a pet. You live it with it home, you know, like a domestic worker. It helps at home. So, a pet, you live it with home, you know, you do everything at home with it. What's the difference between a pet and a wild animal? A pet is just that. A pet is stays inside the house and a yeah. wild animal is stays at the mountain. Why is it important for us to actually take care of our animals? Is that they protect us and if if we don't love them You're gonna run away, innit? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not fair. Right? Yes. Well, my pet was cooling your domestication and surprisingly domestication does not only occur with animals. Check this out. Now, animals we consider to be domestic were not always that way. Sheep, for instance, have been changed by humans over time to produce more wool, so that they would be more useful for humans. Now that's domestication, modifying living things for better human use. Now for early civilizations, animals were powerful tools and used for transportation, clothing and food. But even though there were so many animals, not all of them were actually domesticated because certain animals would be too time consuming and resource intensive to domesticate. Now we also domesticate plants and over time we breed them to be super large versions of their original forms in order to help feed human populations. Now, is Zinja, I believe to be the first to be tamed. About 30,000 years ago, wild dogs were attracted to garbage produced by humans. Basically, Abantu started feeding them and eventually used them to help with hunting and protection. Ikapo Ganyane and Buzi were domesticated for agricultural purposes around 11,000 years ago. Ekamben was cut, see Abantu started storing grain, which attracted mice and then cats. And by feeding the cats, they also kept them around and eventually domesticated them. Okay, I'm sure you guys are wondering, Guti, when a wild cat is made tame, how come Nabandana Makwana are also tame? Well, my scientists have actually found differences in the DNA of the wild cats and those that are domestic. Okay. So, actually, like, the genes that are changed are usually related to memory and fear. Cool, right? Wow, that's crazy. Well, guys, tell us your thoughts on social media. What is your favorite animal and why we tanda? Konamanji, we're going to take a short ad break. We'll be back. Charms. Charms. 
Welcome back to Fish. You guys are still tuning in to TOMZ. You can allow on your favorite channel, SABC1. I'm Zanti for sure. Ting and Jello, one thing. This is the best science and technology show you'll ever see. Definitely. Now, but Peter, this clue about creatures that are wild and tame. Okay, Eddie, wild. Me? Well, I don't know. You'll be the judge of that. Well, anyway, my fair too. Since animals are so close to humans, it is important for us to protect them yeah. and take care of them. While well, we met up with a group of people who are doing exactly that. Check this out. Running the streets of Johannesburg, your boy CAD, do I pronounce Caddy? He's yet on another mission, but to touch down a deep slot. So, but first, what do you do in a situation where you are cooler and don't know you go to send it to the bat? Well, so tell me about what passion who might help you in this situation. It's you and me in this mission. That's one game. I'm Caddy. Hi, I'm Gia. Gia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Caddy. Today, it's me and you in this mission. Always on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, Avant Basikara Bangawazi, can you please introduce yourself and tell us what exactly do you do? Okay, um, my name is Kiam mm -hmm. I am an animal health technician mm -hmm. um, by qualification. I work for the Society for Animals in Distress. Mm -hmm. The Society for Animals in Distress is a welfare organization. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we help people who cannot afford your private veterinary care. Okay. So we work in um, areas like Deep Slut, okay. the one we're in right now, yep. Tembisa, okay. in Ivory Park, mm -hmm. in Oliven, mm -hmm. and a squatter camp called Moy Plus. Okay. As as technicians, we go out every day and mm -hmm. we go to door to door and try to check on the animals. Okay, so in general, why are we here? Okay, so we have a dog in the car, in the van, mm -hmm. that we came to um, Ribusita High, we brought it back home. Yeah. Um, it was in hospital, mm -hmm. it was treated for bite wounds, mm -hmm. so it's back at home, so we bring it back to its owners. Okay. Rato Uwile. Rato, how are you, man? Oh, are you happy? Oh, somebody's happy to see their dog. <laughs> so, Gensagalen, why was this better? Um, as you can see, if you look right over here, you can see he has a bit of um, wounds on him. Mm. So, yeah, they basically healed what's left is for the head to grow. So, he, they called us because they know about us. Mm -hmm. They called us so we can come in and look at the dog and treat it. And um, it also has been sterilized as well okay. in hospital. So, yeah, that's basically why it came. You guys had it for how long? Um, a week or two. Okay. Yeah, so it didn't take us that long to treat these wounds. Mm -hmm. They were not badly, badly infected. Cool. So, Sissy Shili Injala, what happens next? No, so we don't just drop the dog. Yeah. We need to educate. Okay. We need to talk to the owners. Okay. We need to give them an account. Mm. So we do let the owners know how much it costs the, the hospital okay. to, to treat this animal. Okay. So as much as we treat the animals, we're also educating them, which they must also take responsibility. Yeah, so that you know, good to know, you have a dog or ninja, mm. you can't just have it and then not contribute something mm. for its medical cares. Mm. That's part of having inch, okay. you know? Yeah. So what we do is we do this exactly this. We do door-to-door -door, um, knocks, mm -hmm. checking if there's a dog or a cat or a horse yes. or a, a cow, mm -hmm. whatever they have, mm -hmm. and then we offer our services. Okay. Our services include us educating them. That is priority. Yes. Educating them. So we educate them, we vaccinate the animals, mm -hmm. we deworm the animals. Most importantly, for us to be able to help you, you mm -hmm. have to imperatively agree to sterilizing. Yes. So who sterilize the hora hori um who prevent the same thing. Okay. So it means it can't have babies. I saw kono grabana or I saw kono hirabana. Okay. Um um the reason why I sterilize is diverse. There's a million reasons. But I'm just gonna mention a couple of the important ones. Yamatomo being that we're trying to prevent um a sexually transmitted cancer called TVT. Okay. Um, TVT is transmitted sexually, so you'd find that one dog sleeps with another dog that has TVT and then gets infected. Okay. And that is uh, basically almost impossible to cure, just like any other cancer that we have. Mm. That's one of the reasons. The second reason is that um, you find that a dog is on heat and the male dog can smell the other dog that is on heat mm -hmm. and then it goes to the yard. When it gets there, there's another male dog in the yard. And what do they do? They fight. Mm. So we get calls of people complaining that the dog has dog, dog bites mm. or it was in a fight with another dog. It's just too much testosterone. Mm. So then they fight. And then the other reason is that um, also trying to um, reduce the number of animals that our people have. Mm. So the people that we work with, our clients, um, we, we, we can't say that you can't afford private uh, care, but you're breeding. Okay. So you have close to, um, you have two, two dogs, two females, example and they all give birth to about eight, eight dogs. Mm. That's like 16 dogs in the yard. Mm. And then how do we compact less diseases? How do we compact um, uh, less dog bites? How do we compact less um, uh, TVT? 
you know. So we're just trying to make sure that the number of animals in your yard, you can take care of them. So it's very important, Guti, in every yard, think in a guyone. Um, where there's an animal, be it a dog or a cat, yes. we check what we call the five freedoms. Okay. So those are the basic necessities. Mm. It's when your animal is in its best condition. Uh -huh. So you check if there's water, mm. you check if there's food, mm -hmm. and you also advise them on what kind of food to give and to eat. Okay. And you also make sure that the water bowels and everything are clean. Yeah. You also check if the dog has shelter. You also okay. check if the shelter, if it has a blanket, because it's winter now. Yeah. And then you also check um, that yeah. where its surroundings if it's clean. So you don't want little feces all over the place. Mm. You want it as clean as possible. Okay. So if I want to listen to in Jenga, like e or I want to listen, do you guys donate them? Yeah, so we're privileged enough to have people who actually bring um, and donate things to us. Yeah. Um, they don't only donate in forms of um, money. Mm -hmm. Some donate in forms of a packet of uh, uh, food. Mm -hmm. um, we can deliver to somebody who is worthy of them. Okay. Um, people we also donate uh, jerseys. They also donate um, um, bowels, mm -hmm. and then when we do have them, wherever we stop, we'll give them to, to an owner. Now, Amagati have senses that reach far beyond human capabilities. Now, their hearing is more than five times sharper than that of humans. The old guys Uguti, they can literally hear a mouse scratching from far off. They also have a great sense of smell and can smell 40 times better than Tina Abantu. They also use their noses to communicate. Now, Amagati Lawa have scent glands on their head and paws, so when they rub their heads or paws on an object, they leave their scent behind for other felines to pick up. Now, their whiskers help them navigate tight and shallow places. Now, if their whiskers fit in a place, they also have whiskers on the back of their front legs. Yo, it was a beautiful day indeed, but mm. so I loved rescuing animals out mm. in the field. Definitely. So I think about the Wafana Jungle Real and I mean, guys. Definitely. Now, when I'm sure I'm going to go to the house, I'm going to go to the And I'm sure you have wished to go to the this was actually possible. I mean, wouldn't it be awesome to have an actual conversation with your dog? When we come back, what if animals could talk? Charms. Yeah, we have a I'm gonna put with TOMZ, Raja, and it's ABC One, I'm Zanti for sure. Uh huh, with the best presenters. Netherlands. Absolutely. We see her and I are out here telling you what you need to know. And I'm gonna tell you talk about Zuguti. How come wild animals that are hectic out there become so tame and cuddly in our houses? Mm, and I'm gonna tell you about the importance of actually taking care of our animals mm. by going to the field with a very cool organization. But man, you I guess I'm being spoiled and born. Okay, so you can see that 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 you can see you can see that you can see that you you guys do? Okay. The whole process. So the process involves us uh, talking to the owner because we don't have much information, so we're going to try to get as much as we can from her. Okay. And as soon as we get to the hospital, then we do what we call a blood smear. Mm. So a blood smear is basically us taking a sample of the dog's blood mm -hmm. and then checking it under the microscope to check for any sort of infections that might have might that might be seen on the blood smear. Okay. Mm. Okay, so in general again, what is sterilization? And okay. Why is it so important. Go theater. Mm. Um, you get into the prep room. You put in what we call a jalco or a catheter, and that you put in more veiny, so in the vein. Okay. So that is simply so that you can give Mpiael, give the dog uh, an aesthetic. So something to make it sleep okay. during the operation. Okay. As soon as the dog sleeps, you need to tube it. Okay. So you put in a tube that goes to the lungs. What? So that you, you, you're assisting the dog to breathe. Oh, okay. So the dog is asleep now, mm -hmm. it's unable to I could almost say think to breathe on his okay, own. Okay, Do you okay. get what I'm yes, saying? Yes. So now I'm putting in a tube. Mm. 
You also monitor breathing, you monitor heart rate, you monitor gums so that the dog doesn't go downhill. Okay. And, it's, and once it's on the anesthetic machine, we start prepping. Okay. Prepping means you're shaving the dog okay. along the area where the doctor wants to make his incision. Okay. So, incision ill, you shave along those lines, okay. uh, along that area, sorry. I don't me read on that specific area because hair does contain bacteria, all kinds of things. So, you're trying to make the place as sterilized as, as, sterile as possible for the doctor. Then we wash. And as soon as you do that, you use an alcohol um, cleaner okay. to sort of clean the area really, really, really well. Mm -hmm. And once that's done, you've cleaned and you're sure that this place is clean, I mean, the area is as clean as possible. Then you shift it on to the doctor and he starts with the operation. So as soon as they're done with the op, mm. you take the dog out mm. and then you put them where they're going to wake up. So you need somebody there as well okay. um, to monitor the dog as it's waking up. Mm. You still need to continue checking heart rate, checking pulse, checking respiration, mm. checking the gums if the dog is actually still alive. Okay. Then as soon as he's awake, fully awake, you remove the catheter and then you take the dog back to the cage. Stay sharp, stay, stay, sharp, stay grand. Why did you join this career? Give that idea. Why? Okay, so I always tell people, this is a very funny explanation. Mm. I feel like this career chose me mm -hmm. and it almost feels like, um, you know when you find like 50 rands in your pocket yeah. and you didn't think it was there, yeah. but it makes you so happy? Yep. That's exactly how I feel. Like, I found it and it made me so happy. Mm. So this career, literally, I bumped into it. Yes, I grew up with my grandfather. He has kettle here and there, but I was never really that fascinated into it. Mm. I knew I had to do health studies. Yes. What particularly, I wasn't 100% sure, but this is it for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, shy. Yeah, I know, I love it. <laughs> Let's take care of our pets and let us know again and Otherwise, this is what we call mission accomplished. Until next time, your boy CAD to why you pronounce Caddy is out. Now in Daba, I met a Luani Glow in the dark. You might have seen this happening before and might even have gotten a fart from it. Well, there is nothing to be afraid of. Le Luani Lazy have a layer of tissue in their eyes called a tape time lucidium. It sits just behind the retina and reflects light back through the retina. Now, the layer layer is a matter to put upon a gun on a soak, Mara Abantu Abanai, which is why we have to rely on our ability to perceive what's going on around us instead of seeing. I get my fetch and I go to TMZ, I turn on Varashella Lapo A, Colin Zen, and today is no different. Now, my fetch, if you have a lapo, Guma, when I go to Wako, all you have to do is simply tag yourself on our social media platforms, go Facebook, now go Twitter, my fetch is Colin, and I'm going to email you to Tom's at sabc.co.za, or my also phone at Tom's is it's Colin. So, go on, let's see what we're doing. Why are you running away? Are you guys good? Yeah. What do you want to do when you guys are done with school? What do you want to be? I want to be a soldier. A soldier? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to be a, a, a doctor. A doctor? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? Mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineer. Well, guys, in Zunchala, about a new career né, that you guys can go into or you can tell your friends. The career, Lena, it's a career in the animal life. So what you can do is, if you like animals or you have a friend that likes animals, you can go to www.animalcareers.cornell.edu. So on this website, they teach you more about animals and what subjects you can take and which tertiary you can go to and study about animals and you can actually pursue a career in that. How dope is that? Uh, it's cool. It's fresh, no? Yeah. If we've learned one thing by Fetu through ETOMZ, Siazguti, and my scientists are doing mad things to make our future a better place. Pets, to our surprise, is no exception. As we live by Fetu, I want to be able for companionship. So, is there going to be change or go to the Let's check this out. Now, many robotic versions of animals have been created, including a robot dog, Ebizongi Abel. 
Now, Abanya Bako Goodbye 2030, we will have genetically engineered dinosaurs hatching. Researchers are developing a harness that could tell dog owners how their dogs are actually feeling. Some pet gadgets will automatically take pictures and videos of pets and upload them to their social media pages. And scientists have modified cats and beagles that could glow in the dark and pigs that stay small forever. Never be taken and double to Tanama for my pets. Got a gay, Tapo, Tano, what Tanama pets, and Gas Guti Colonel, Jelly under A one that will actually attract you to pets. Imagine good about Tanama pets if animals could talk by feet. All the things you get like when you get home, it was good to feel a ganja, and he always in your near good. Why it's under cool, eh? Why? Well, Abandi have been able to teach some chimpanzees to use sign language for certain things, like give me that apple. God, our animals aren't programmed to take on languages in the same way as we do. So if they could talk, it would probably sound very different and we wouldn't understand them. God, they do understand each other to some extent. A male elephant have a specific cry for bees, velvet monkeys have different cries for different types of danger, and even donkeys have calls for danger that is far off and for danger that is close by. I'm a researcher's one up in the have thought similar to ours, as in worrying about getting enough food, raising the little ones, building relationships, and even reflection. Logo Shugut said that if they could talk and we could understand, we might find that we have more in common than we ever thought. On the other hand, their minds would not be developed the same way as Abantu, so you might also find a lot of misunderstanding. You would either have deep chats or fight it out with each other as you argue about who's getting the last neck in the box. Yasin. I have a pet. T O M Z in Patelinda bezim nani kono lapi makai. Inshallah kai bezim nani asbas no bele se chandu pins na wapu fikit pasha no kupins. So wana lapi kai pune I J episode. Wana we wana kono lapi T O M Z. All you have to do is send us the idea of a pet, and if it's fresh and brilliant, we'll make it a T O M Z official episode kono lapi S A V C one. And only that kono lapi zani you get a goodie bag as well as just keep us up with T O M Z one. So wana lapi kai. All you have to do is send through your ideas on Facebook, which is on facebook.com forward slash T O M Z. On Twitter, we are simply at Tom's underscore S A. BC underscore one. I know I was going to go up on Nandi No, I gotta say something though. Yeah. I think I'm addicted to presenting the show with Ciara. Mm, definitely. I've been going on in Bella. I'm going to go Bella. Now, when I look back again, if you still have any questions or shout outs, you can write to us on Facebook and on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash COMZ. On Twitter, yep. at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Put on our channel at www.tomz.co.za for more info. Until next time, we'll love and leave you. Bye bye. Here's what's coming up next time on TOMZ. Now, meet a total legend who's dedicating his life to help young inmates. Now, paper mache is a popular form of art, but do you know how it's actually made? Well, youth in prison has been around for just more than a decade. Let's see how they actually started out. It's impossible to predict the future, but we can say a few things for sure. We talk about which resources you can use to help yourself and your friends. I got a fit in my photo boy to TMZ every Mondays and Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Raja on SABC One Zanti for sure.